Sim racing has seen a surge of popularity over the last couple of years, so much so that professional racing drivers are getting involved. And like most hobbies, you get out of it what you put into it, including how much you invest into your rig. Now budget can make the difference between a wheel with the force feedback of a Wii remote, or a direct drive wheel which will snap your wrists if you're brave, or stupid enough to crank it up to 11. This also applies to the visual side of things, ideally you'll want to be rocking an ultra wide screen or a triple monitor setup or even VR. Unfortunately these things tend to cost a lot of money, and they require beefy hardware which also does not come cheap. Luckily there is a way to get the most out of a single monitor, and it'll only cost you £2.50 at most. Thanks to a developer called Air Legend you can transform any old webcam into a head tracking device using AI track. Even though it's only an alpha at the time of recording this video, it works brilliantly. AI Track works in conjunction with OpenTrack to send your head movements to whatever sim you're playing, and for the most part, it's as simple as hitting start on both programs and jumping into the sim of your choice. While AI Track should work with any webcam, I would recommend getting a PS3 eye cam for several reasons. The developer uses one himself for debugging, and as such, it receives the most support. It also has a refresh rate of 120Hz which provides much smoother head tracking than your box standard 30 or 60Hz camera. And at £2.50 from CEX, not sponsored by the way, it's an absolute steal. Even if you don't use it for head tracking, it's still a decent webcam and it has a built in mic to boot. So how do we go about setting this up? If you're using a PS3 iCam you'll need to download and install Universal PS3 iDriver. The link for it along with all the other software you need is in the description below. If you're using any other webcam, you can just ignore this and go straight to downloading AI Track and Open Track. Once everything's downloaded, you need to open up AI Track, pop into your configuration, and make sure you've got a width and height of at least 640 by 480. Your FPS can be as low as 30. I like it at 60, it's just a bit smoother. Distance and FOV, you can leave them as is. Sometimes, though, your face can bounce around a lot and it just causes the head tracking to <laughs> go mental for lack of a better word so you can experiment with those figures to try and fix that if you're suffering with those issues and your model type i leave it fast it works and it uses the least amount of resources so once that's set up you can go over to open track you want your udp over network as your input output on free track and filter exceller Go into your options and what I would do is set a button to restart the track and what this does is it recenters it. So if it drifts a little bit to the left, right, up or down or whatever, you press that, boom, you're centered again. In output, I just have your and pitch enabled, but you can pretty much experiment with what you want. These other tabs, I don't even bother with them. So once that's set up, we can start the tracking. See my face there, it's covered in dots, it's beautiful. And you can press start on open track. I already did that. And if I move left and right, or right and left rather, you can see the octopus move with my head. Now what you can do is finally tune how it behaves by going into mapping. And if I go into your hair and get rid of these dots, I don't need that there to demonstrate this. If I say move that all the way over there, now I want to move my head, the octopus is going to move really, really, really slow. And if I move them really, really far over here, if I move my head a little bit, the octopus is going to get whiplash. Once you've got your little octopus behaving how you like it, it's just a case of loading up your sim of choice, jumping into the cockpit viewer and driving. Some sims might require you to go into the options to enable head tracking, such as Carcraft, but it's really as simple as that. As long as you've got AI track and open track running in the background, I think you just work out the box. As with all things, however, there are some limitations. AI track is still very much in alpha and under active development, and as such, it may not work with every configuration. It also requires you to be in a very well lit room, otherwise, it'll have trouble detecting your face, and it's also quite CPU heavy. Depending on your setup, you may start running into performance issues if, for example, you're in a 30 plus player lobby on a set of Corsa, or you have the bare face cheek to launch a set of Corsa Competizione. I use an i5-4570 and for the most part everything works fine, except for these fringe cases, so if you have something a bit more modern, and more than likely, you'll be fine. All in all, AI Track is a fantastic piece of software which can completely transform your sim racing experience. Being able to look towards each apex and nailing them is immensely satisfying. 
mixed driving huge free roam maps such as LA Canyons in the set of course and an absolute pleasure, and even something as simple as just being able to look left and right for traffic in Truck Simulator improves the experience by a mile. The amount of sims which support head tracking is astronomical. They even had it running on Race 07 which came out in, well, 2007. So if you're stuck with a single monitor and you've got an old webcam lying around, there's not really much reason to not give it a try. So I hope you found the video informative and if you did give it a try, let us know how you get on. Give us a shout in the comments and yeah, hopefully see you all soon. Take care.